extensive thanks. I will do it shortly because uh, uh, this is this 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 vacation is not so formal as as I want to do, and uh, so I will try to to explain best uh, the ways of I think drawing is something special in the, the way of thinking architecture and the way of thinking uh, our own thoughts and our own imagination. So, first I want to thank uh, this invitation uh, to Professor Franklin that believes that uh, I have something to say is wrong and uh, so that's, that's I will try to make my best to to not uh, to have something outside the very strange. But uh, I will try to, to, to do it the right the right way. So uh, first first I have a, a great problem because it's difficult to to explain what I want to say in English because sometimes the the chapters and the translation is so difficult to make it and we have to put in a simple way as sometimes English need to put it and I, I risk it I put it risking it and in risking it is uh, almost something that uh, I hope it translates not not, uh, not literal translation but uh, because the, the title is there are two words with one concept, and it's difficult to, to explain. But uh, I bring this this image because it's a uh, I think uh, Caesar all the time can surprise us because he thinks all the time with drawing. And I would like to to begin with a great a great quote from Caesar. And when he says that clarity and intelligence utility in architectures are dependent on the compromise with the complexity of the transformation which however can only transform architecture when through drawing it attains that this stability and a sort of silence the timeless and the universal territory of art so this this kind of curve that Caesar uh, puts us in a way of thinking uh, maybe maybe it's not so so clear uh, the way he puts the, that code, but uh, that's the way of understanding what is important uh, in this kind of knowledge. So I I searched for for many many drawings with uh, made by Caesar and I and, and I bring this this only this one. Because this one is how we, how we can see the brain working on the you know the side of the plan of drawing and the side of the plan of thinking, thinking architecture. And with this kind of drawings, we can see that everything is around, just just floating everywhere in the in the paper, floating everywhere. In the in, in her own mind, so that's that for me it was very very interesting because uh, the problem is not the, the 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 way he draws but the way he puts the mind in order, put some order in the her mind and in, in his mind. Sorry, I change. And sometimes I put her and his. And his. So, so, so. So, uh, this uh, Caesar puts on the real importance of drawing as a methodological thinking. In a way, the drawing summarizes the process, thinking architecture and risking it is how to make invisible visible. And this is, this is so important because sometimes um, when we use this instrument to work, sometimes this kind of uh, say corpus is they are invisible. They 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 just 
are parts of uh, some some of us, and we need to put it visible, as you see here. And I, I just uh, begin with uh, uh, I bring I bring some 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 drawings that I, I am working on the on my PhD, and uh, this this kind of drawings they are just a little strange, or maybe they are a little out of the box and out of anything I'm going to say, but they are in the in the way uh, something that I need to say just they are important. And I, I begin to, to explain what what makes me put these images here. Uh, and I, I start with a statement, uh, a quite quite curious statement that Sir Midas does, does in a, the book of uh, the cave. That uh, that that uh, that statement says that uh, creators have little brains on the tip of their fingers, and this is a strange sentence because we have no brains on the, the, the tip of our fingers, of course, but. There's something between the connection between mind and hand, and that connect that connection is important to develop or maybe to say about this. So I will try to explain uh, how this happens in the in this kind of uh, working. So the subtle testimony refers to the importance of the haptic. So. I begin. I begin to think that uh, the coat of uh, of uh, of uh, is so important because we have something important when we use this instrument. This is the haptic. Haptic is not only the way we touch objects, but the way we think and using our body to touch everything. And touching is not only with the hands. We touch with the eyes. We use vision. We use uh, ears and every the senses and we have more senses than we think we have so five senses is almost the minimal senses that we use to uh, think about architecture or maybe the drawings on architecture so this subtle testimony refers to the importance of epic it's also explained because drawing is a logical procedural or project tool that the recognizable support of ideas, the referential repository of intuition and perception. And with that, uh, uh, some, 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 some people that so they are make some statements and some codes, they just use the same or in a different language, but in the, in the, in the same, the same, uh, same, the same direction. And as Kirby uh, says, in this code that the same capacity of synthesis marks a primordial unit of sensation and understanding caused by the imagination previous to the functioning of those skills. In fact, the synthesis role of imagination, which implies both faculties, is so primordial that it operates subconsciously, as if they spoke behind our backs. Our backs. So this curve of Kerry is so 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 strange because we have another person behind us that uh, tell us how to do it, right or wrong. That there's two persons that's floating here, the devil and the angel, like this. So the meaning of these drawings and. Uh, the meaning of these drawings emerged inseparably in the construction of linearly translate into synopsis, B or tridimensional, in writings which, which supports and configure in the mental image truth or lies about the action of drawing or validation. This for this reason uh, sorry, for this reason, the importance of that logical tool slash drawing, its aesthetic manifestation turns it into the fundamental and complex explanation which incorporates the degrading dynamic and thinking of joint as causal mentality, giving away the comprehension transposing the appealing dimension of ambience 
of gesture, <coughs> of continuous questioning, of playful detail, of surroundings in space, and the proposed relations with construction. This integrated and dimensional covers where each drawing is in itself a new element in the perceived and problematized real, and this drawing is that I bring to you. It's, it's, it's like to, to understand that sometimes something is connected and some, sometimes they are disconnected of something. And all these, all these switches uh, work together or in a part and make something happen. So, produces this traumatized real, it produces the formation in the projects and constantly in the drawing. As echo sequentially, the before, the now, and the after, interposed by overlap or polarization, which result from the evolution of imagination. The drum register of as language of clarification, idea, form, of objects, materialize themselves with transformative elements in the mental imagery. In the current the correspondence between invasion and event evidence in the clarification of the drawn object and its disturbed impotence. Thus, the drawing responds by approximations by which it's capable to be of being a receptacle for apprehension and accumulation of numerous knowledges and circumstances of such a time. Image that remain there that until they are present together, all the particles capable of being united to form a new composition. So, there are many words here in English. They say many things, but I think we need to see some images. And that image can, can connect something about, uh, about, about what I try to say. And sometimes uh, this kind of language, a little bit close, uh, it can be explained with uh, simple drawings. And I try to to put this in the in the code that's very very important. It's a code from the Frederick Zucker. And in this image, this is the evocation of the exploratory purpose of the joy as articulate relation as the thought that Albert Camus summarized in the, in the last image. The object drums and drums itself in the complexities of such sections of the moments of its feelings and thoughts, where its uniqueness and consistency consists uh, come close to the literary process and the construction of knowledge. It is resilience, personality, Personified in the drawer. Frederick Zucker is, is one of the one, one of the great the great uh, uh, critics and great uh, thought uh, thinkers in the in the, the beginning of the the drawing as as something special and something important in the way of constructs a new architecture. If we are talking about uh, Renaissance. He says, he says something uh, very that cannot be so so wonderful uh, at the time because maybe we are thinking that drawing as just the way of some basic basic instrument. Drawing is no matter, it's no body, it's not an accident of some surface, but this idea, order, rule, goal of the object of intellect where understood things are expressed. This cannot be said much more than this. So it's so condensed, this kind of code, that almost say everything. I can stop here and go home. And we 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 take we, we need to, to think much more than this. Why is so important this this code from Frederick Zucker? And I begin to think that uh, if drawing is no bad, there's no body, it's an accident, uh, something happens in the, the, the core of this, this kind of uh, things. 
And Frederick sort of defined two things. He said that uh, drawing, we have two, two ways. We have the same internal, we have the same external. And this conscious and this resistor, one of some a kind of formal syncorpore manifestation, manifestation. So with that, I will try to, to change to a, to a way of seeing this kind of uh, very precise thing about drawing. And when we jump, we have another, another, another person, so important that so Leonardo said that confusing things stimulate the mind and new invention. And, and why is so important this not formal? We are working with informal things. So, however, as Leonardo had already said, that the incomplete stimulates us to develop it. We can see that the, stimul the simultaneous action of the process and coordination, mind, eye, and hand, are inseparable from the stimulus of imagination and the venturing of hypnotism in the organization of chaos. And that images that uh, I bring, it's something that uh, happens when maybe we are not thinking about doing something. We just let that the action of drawing makes the, the differences everywhere. Even if we don't know what happens in the paper or wherever we draw. So, Leonardo, Leonardo's code certainly introduced the attic and this is a, it's a little different from the attic that I, I spoke in the last, last uh, words, the attic of thought. So maybe we have the haptic with a relation between our body, physical body, mm -hmm. but uh, is the real haptic that works and I think it works and on the way as drawing is uh, the connection between all the things we do with simple instruments. And the United School certainly introduced the ethic of thought. The action of the hand transpires an idea and announces something in the same way as Michaud explains that, that there is a relationship of cause and effect in all acts of drawing. And Michaud says like something that uh, inspires in the, or inspires in the world in the same as Leonardo. He says that, do I draw because I see this or that clearly? Not quite at all, quite the opposite. I do it to establish myself again, and I'm delighted if there are traps. I look for surprises. On the other hand, it's added and that risking it is like being by the edge of the precipice. So sometimes we have to work in the 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 the, the, the line, the, that thin line in the that sometimes we just jump from the, the unknown and it's strange when we have to do it. And we have a condition too, that's a condition of fear. And that condition, I, I, I bring a, a little testimony of Manuel Mendes that he says something, it's like a not, not with the, he says not with the connection, with the drawings, but connection with the, the way we thought. And this, this uh, kind of uh, fear, he says like this, it, it is why it's not visible to build a railway station Portuguese manually style or a chemistry laboratory in a Gothic architecture. Both will reveal not the expression but masks and architecture is not a carnival parade. Free drawing has been lost, thus a factor of essential importance in the order to review architectural work with more rigor. So, this testimony of Manuel Lenz is like to okay, this this is a this is a 
a real place to work, a real place to be free, but in the same time, it's a real place to be with fear of something. So, what happens next? Next happens uh, several drawings that I will try to connect between the, this kind of uh, thinking and what I'm thinking about. So, this image and the others we are going to see. I, I will say like this, this state of consciousness is not an insurmountable hurdle but the space of opportunity that drawing constructs. This space of being close to the idea of God. Drawing is risking it, giving nature back to the ability to renovate and change. A mark which intervenes and the complexity on interferences of experience. So, we continue and the, the, the the drawing can tell us something new or something about the drawer too in the, the deep side, the other side of the attic, the front of the, the drawer. So, this image and the others, it contains the weakness of that drawing, the act of risking density of inscribing, of planning, of simple desire of a representation of the world, establishing a cosmic synchronicity, dimensional and temporal, incorporating and enfacing the image in the meeting of the light in places of shadow, a result in which densities of fine art edit, expressing themselves in a multiple transformation. So, although what is possible to be built and recognizable from the basis of the similar mental operations than to construct the perception of a body is where those correspondences take place. So, the space of joy <coughs> lies between the tangible space and the mediating contextualized mark of the drawing. So, imagination is thus a regurgitation of the relevant traces of the narrative expression of thought and the use of the continuum without continuity. It is of a transitory character between and between and represented between field slash subject slash object and veiling in a way the uniqueness of the discourse of the drawing and its transformation. And I don't know what the number of the image is now. So <laughs> I, I try to put it in, in this way. This last, last image is let's say, a gift. It's, I make it with a gift. And I try to explain why it is. Why it is going to take back take further again. And this 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 is the way I see we construct something in the deep side of our mind or the deep side in our own drawings. So we go deeper and deeper in drawing and it will happen differently as as Leonardo said this this is the stimulation of the chaos or the stimulation of the mind. So that's the, the I would say the the geographic field that uh, I work and I will do I, I try to explain. So for the other hand I, I make this this let's say like a put it in a different windows and I bring I bring a, a, a drawing from veil to bales Boys drawing and I say that uh, it's a it's noticeable boys and drawing that the notion of three dimensionality blurs itself in the diagram planning where differences of drawn pieces are perceived, where the drawing slash project expresses its dimension through gesture in configurations articulated by the line and the constructing constructing and imagining proposition. 
circumscribed and personal. Of what seems right and with the delicate representation of the graphic object that, as boys say, he committed, came from a dilemma, the mistakes and the schizophrenia of the times that and the soul's cold and rigidity. This status quo can be understood to be can understood to be essential in drawing that risking it seeks to express the energies establishing analogies with the behavior of creatures and thus human behavior. For other on the other hand, Caesar's drawing is close to the analytical decisor. In fact, to Caesar, the gesture of hand, the movement of the line is crucial to trace the founding idea, give life to the shapes and anticipate the action of movement through space and time. Dynamic shape is intention. Without them, invasion might lack vitality. This 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 quote by Curtis and Curtis uh, writes a lot of uh, lot of things about uh, Caesar. But I, I try to explain why 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 it's so so important this and how this connects with the the end the end of uh, my presentation. So the confrontation, as William Curtis explained, is in a way the construction of a reference of an exaltation of action on of learning process. I like the conscious side of it, always emerging in a will, willingness with which cannot be clarified instantly. In the truth of the shapes which inhabit space and in the matter, and that also inhabit desire and intelligence. But how can we define that desire or that prowess of intelligence? That's a known space of risking it. And I try to, to begin with the hypothesis is given by Curtis. There is a, a in, inner circumstance of a choice to find answers to what is not visible. That is not a body, but the will of a body and the mind. But also, what does not have a body, as mentioned from the Rick Zucker, is the purpose the ability to enlarge or reduce things to readapt the mnemonic segments of experience. So, with all these, these things that I, I try to, to, to explain, I, I bring something that's it's, uh, like a, a final, a simple reflection uh, thought about this. And I say that, however, using the experimental field, risking it on drawing, and at the termination of this hypothesis, we found the connection of a new stratus or assumptions combined with the thickness of imagery, a constructive, a constructive new link to drawing, a stratification associated with cinematic language a free field from a geographic reference and abstract content, where plus watches establish the demand, a relation to familiar design, a decibel code, a free reading from their own referential in a context of open work and with a constant transformation. At this moment, maybe you can think of others, and I just, just let a, a simple drawing that the way it begins and the way it ends, the resolution is so bad because it, uh, it not seems to be the same. In the same, at least the problem is the, the video, but almost works well because we, I want to be more. So with that, you can see that uh, mind and the process of mind is working, constructing. And we have no time to thought, to think everything around. So it works from themselves. So that's in the end of this. I just I just say that uh, maybe we try another thing, and this is a free free space to work. So thank you very much.